When we got to Coastal Flats restaurant, Scott presented Sean with a little gift. <gasps> oh, chick ass. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god, is that next week fighter? You're yeah. kidding me. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, nice, nice price tag. Thanks, man. I don't care. It's eight bucks. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, it was on sale. Dude, this yeah, it was. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you talking about? Gag gift. <laughs> yeah, what really. the hell, man? Yeah, that's not a gag. That's not a gag that's, gift. That's serious. Hold that up. Yeah, man. Don't don't knock the Jedi. Look at that. I I extra large, Jedi. too. <laughs> I am. I see yours there. is the biggest mine. When we got to Coastal Flats, we met up with Lionel. Lionel's one of the ushers that Sean uh, knew from college at JMU, and they were in the Alpha Phi Omega fraternity together. And so we met up with him, and then Kevin came along. Kev, who are you? Who am I? I don't know. What'd you just call him? I know, you just called him, Kevin. Kevin, man, I need you to participate a little more. Maybe next time. And there will be a next time, I promise. Was it kind of gay that I winked at you? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but still. Darren joined us and so did Milton. It was the first time all of us had gotten together since last night. The waitress was really cool. She was a really big sport about uh, us filming in the uh, restaurant. We didn't really even tell her what we were doing, but uh, she seemed pretty cool with it. So thanks, Teresa. What's your name? Uh, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Hi, hello. This is Teresa. This is our, our server. Hey, and Kevin. Our, and our, our, our new good friend. Our new best friend. Yeah. Oh, I like What's up, bro? It depends on how much we tip her, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was a great time. I and mean, we just sat and talked about politics. You yeah. can get money by dividing people into categories and telling one category, hey, they're fighting you. Give me money and I'll be your advocate. To be a radical like you, you have to have a I'm a little son of the woman of the It's customary for the groom to hand out gifts to his groomsmen and his ushers, and so while we were getting our gifts, uh, we found this packet, this really weird packet of energy, um, and it was bizarre. This is a power bar gel pack I got from Sean for being his groomsman. Uh, when I saw this, I was taken aback because I really did not know what it was for. I didn't see the gel, but then when I did see it, I thought it was for my hair. Um, but power bar, uh, kind of in many ways that you need to eat it, and the fact that it has caffeine and vanilla flavor, um, we just believe it's something out of it. So uh, I, I kind of had a blonde moment. No offense to the blondes. And, uh, <laughs> I haven't had it, but apparently it's supposed to allow us to uh, maintain his speed because, you know... Or maintain his wife's speed. Yeah. There's a more energy and more energy. Yeah, but I was afraid to eat it, and I actually still am. But this is Kevin's, um, Kevin's uh, packet of vanilla-flavored gel. Feel, feel free to keep that. Uh, he just offered it to me. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so Sean in here is on the phone. Because the wonderful photographer came out to find the ladies. They're probably out just you know having fun shopping somewhere. Manicure, manicure, take lunch. I'll give you the key. Go. You know, whatever. Go figure. Can't find women. I was filming everybody else, but I wanted to be considerate at the same time to them because I didn't know them very well, and I didn't want it to seem rude by stuffing the camera down their throats. So luckily, Scott took over the camera and uh, filmed them, so in case they had any problems, they could take it up with Scott instead of me. You've been videotaping me eating this whole time, man? <laughs> oh, busted! How's your honey doing? <laughs> Bye. I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
The food was fantastic. Everybody really seemed to enjoy their meal. I had a cheeseburger and there was lots of cheese bread and everybody devoured it. Really good dipping sauce. Uh, it was really good. So we hung out for a little bit longer, just sat and talked, and had a really good time. I, can't believe I don't think I can do that thing. Four hours of <laughs> I was like, is everything in this bag what it says right here? She goes, uh, yeah, I think so. You want to try it on? Get your opinion. We were there for quite a while, maybe an hour and a half or so, and after a while I actually felt very comfortable with uh, Sean's other friends, I felt very close to them, like I, I had known them for a while. And I don't mean like two days, because I had known them two days. We have some representation out here. The only, the only different ones are, uh, well, we, we've got, we've got the, the we, hold on, we got, we got the follically challenge. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> we've got Hispanic. We've got the follically challenged wannabe, but but tall and skinny. We got our African American brother. Exactly. We got the gimp. <laughs> we've got the half tie. Asian. And then we've got Scott. <laughs> yeah, it, it was really cool that we were all kind of cracking jokes at each other and uh, yeah, it was, it was really neat. Sean had a great time. He was all laughs and carrying on with the rest of us and he was participating in some of our uh, little video antics. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Even these seven gentlemen that are sitting around this table, some are better looking than others, some have bigger noses than others. But anyway, we're here in London, these are the guys, who are we? These are my boys. Oh, yeah. 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 Starting um, with okay. so, so starting with Nick on the group. Yeah. And yeah. You know, the same thing with Ben Gibson of Camera. He was trafficking. And this is Lionel. We, we, uh, when we, I mean, those containers are broken. And then there's Darren. <laughs> medical team. Is and then Miltonius. What do I owe Shannon? You get Milton. Um, and this is Kevin. Hey, what's up? Yeah. 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 And that's Bob and that's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hi. And he pushes his glasses up, and I'm going to turn the camera back over to him. And now, after we pay our bill, or I don't know what to say to think. You know, that, that, that's right there. Um, we are going to go back over to my place, pick up the stuff. I got I put it in my house, and then we're going to head over to... So I put in a shirt, and get ready, hang out, and go there with the footballs a little bit, and when you chill, kick back a couple of... Yeah, under the uniform because I've been told that the cooler of pop is going to be wrong. Um, and then it's showtime. So we were there for about an hour, and towards the closing of our visit to Coastal Flats, uh, Sean was presented a dish with chocolate syrup writing on there, congratulating him on his wedding day. Oh, I, I, dude, I'm looking at the plate, man. Alright, Sean, Sean, hurry, no hands. <laughs> well, the service was incredible. We met some of the nicest staff there that I've ever had at a restaurant. Their food was fantastic. They had the best bread and dipping sauce. <laughs> the cheese was fantastic. Loved every bit of it. Uh, so, uh, thanks to Scott and Sean for picking this place and, and uh, having good times with uh, these wonderful guys that I, I had the pleasure of hanging out with. We got it. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Lunch was over and it was time to move on and complete what we had to do in order to get ready for the ceremony. Sean, Scott, and I headed off back to Sean's place to get our tuxes and whatever else we needed to survive for the rest of the afternoon prior to uh, Sean's wedding ceremony. And uh, Kevin and Darren and Milton and Lionel took off. Uh, I had no idea where they were going. I really didn't get to say goodbye to them. Uh, I actually thought we were going to start hanging out together as uh, one big unit after that, but they, I, I guess they had their own things to do. So, But that was okay because I mean, we met up with them later. But uh, as for Sean, Scott, and myself, we headed over to uh, Sean's place to gather our things, and 
the car ride was pretty interesting. 